Hello, folks. Welcome to tonight's game. This one's going to be good between the USC Trojans and the UCLA Bruins. We're about to make waves, baby. We got one of the hottest rivalries in sports here tonight. These two teams make it know that they're here to win. Neither team will ever back down. Neither will ever admit a weakness to a counterpart strength. We've been waiting all year for this one, baby. I guarantee you, it won't disappoint, Brad. That's right, Dick. Sparks have really been flying ever since word of this matchup hit the papers. The Bruins are prepared to fight tooth and nail in this one, Dick. What are the keys to victory? If I'm their coach, the keys would be these. Number one, the point guard has to be the floor general. It's up to him to ensure that his team executes and has efficiency on both sides of the floor. Second, get the ball inside for the high percentage shot. That'll open up the outside game as well. And finally, make sure you eat up the boards. I think you're dead on, Mr. Vitale. Let's see what happens. Let's get this one started. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. And now they'll bring it up. Trying to go inside. That spin move's not going to work against a defense I like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. For two, perfectly executed. Instead of giving him that, he's a foul. Trying to feed inside. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up. You get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. They look to get it to the inside. And up, in and out. Contact on the shot attempt causes the misfire. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. it in. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Up fake. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. Oh, and this packed house is showing their appreciation for their team. Well, there's euphoria out there. They're really excited. They're going bananas. The offense is really having a hard time finding a rhythm, Dick. Hey, it's hard to find a rhythm when the defense is making you work for every shot, Brad. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. He, he got the layup to go and the foul is called. Hey, he saw that he was going to get fouled, but he stuck to the path in spite of it. Number 20 going to the line for the first time tonight. Makes it. Looking for a good shot. Number 22 handles the pass. Here's a nice face up down on the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked them and took it to the basket. Here we go on the break. Tries for two. Look at that try. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> the power forward receives the pass. Trying to draw the foul. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. For the bucket, he keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. The pavilion has become deafening. They're going well here in Los Angeles, California. There's the fake. 
Pump fakes. Goes up for two. And he missed. The defense senses a five second call. Number 22 draws the personal. Number 22 to the charity line. Makes the first. Both free throws go. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. He shoots from the top of the circle. Gets it to fall. He gets out of the double. Hey, poor execution of the double team, Red. These boys were taught better. Double team now. Bad angle. And off the mark. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? So he'll get an opportunity to change the scoreboard again from the free throw line. Well, he created the foul opportunity. Second shot is no good. The center handles the feed. Here he is defensively, and this is going to be an Academy Award, Dick. Absolutely, Academy Award at its best. Number 22 fakes the shot. Number three comes up with it. There's a steal. Hey, as nice as that dunk was, the mascot may have stolen the show on that play. He was the most excited person in the arena. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. And our trifecta for the night. Aaron Andrews on the sideline with Dick Vitale. I'm Brad Nestle. Nice to have you along with us. Poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball with a duck. Where's he going? Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. He went for the steal in the post and he missed it, Dick. Oh, I'll tell you one thing. What a poor job defensively. He gambled. Pandemonium has taken over Pauley Pavilion. Look out. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Dump it inside. The small forward receives the ball. Nice job in dribbling off the screen, but the shot just didn't fall. On the dribble, gives it up. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up and get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. Number two is feeling good. He may be in the zone right now, Brad. For two, and in and out. Defensively, low block. Oh, nice job fronting him for the steal. Uh, terrific job creating the opportunity. I think really converts an offensive transition. They work the perimeter. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Gave it up. From the baseline, they'll bring it out on top. From beyond the arc. 
He gets the shot to fall. On the dribble, gives it up. Fakes the shot. Up and inside! Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. Tries for two. I love the sky hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. They work it around the perimeter. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. He knocks down another bucket there. This kid's got skills, Brad. Takes the pass in the paint. He makes a nice shot fake for the bucket. Doesn't go. Tries to get the D to bite. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so's the defense, and they do a nice job. Entry pass in the paint. Kicks it out. Outside jumper. He gets that one to fall. Fakes a jumper. We're pushing that basketball. Help one another. Communicate. Pull up jumper from way out. Scorches the net. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Those long arms try to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside though is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. On the outside, the crowd loves this young man. The fans know exactly how much he has done for this program. Can't get the shot to go. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Number 42 makes a great move to draw the foul. Then, young man, he wants everyone on their feet. Pump them up, young man. Pump them up. He goes to the free throw line. Got to make the freebies. There's the trap. Good job defensively. For two, in and out. Dickey's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Looking for contact. Basket falls despite the contact. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Puts up the tray. I'm not sure that's who you want shooting the three. Yeah, I'm not sure what he was thinking there. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. He goes for three. Way off target. Gave it up. perimeter down in the low block trying to draw some contact <laughs> tries for two they're gonna find a way to get some easy buckets to get their confidence back Brad absolutely they gotta get it going here forward in the paint 
Good job defensively. They just won't get many openings. Pressure in the basketball. He gets the board. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. They still don't score. Great rivalry game, Aaron. You're seeing it from a whole different perspective than Dick and I. Well, this is very typical of a rivalry game. The score is close, and neither team wants to back down. We'll have to continue to monitor this and see what unfolds. The student body appears to be pumped up, and they are ready to explode. They want to win just as bad as anyone else in the building. Spacing. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Awesome ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. On the outside. He's a human eraser. I love shot blockers. They add such a dimension to your team. Everybody's happy, including the school mascot. Well, the mascot's doing a little dance, baby. Celebrating a lot of jubilation. Had him in the post and didn't pass it in. Reverses it. That's good. Number five picks up the foul. Fourth team foul. Got a high post flasher. Jumps in. And he scores despite the hack. And they come with a double team to stop it. And Nick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork deep into the spot. Here's a double team. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Number 22 coming in for the first time tonight. He will give this defense a different kind of threat at this position. Smart move. And that free throw line has really not been friendly for them tonight, Dick. Yeah, they just haven't looked comfortable from there. He missed it. The free throw line is really doing a number on this team tonight, Dick. Well, you know, don't blame the line, Brad. It's just laying there. These kids just aren't knocking them down. I tell you, they're getting free ones tonight and not making them count. He takes a three. Got it. He's just not giving the effort on defense. He's not putting up a good fight at all. There's a double team waiting there. Oh, what a strip, Red. They run it up into transition. UCLA is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. <laughs> Moving it around the perimeter. He up fakes. Here's a nice face up down on the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked them and took it to the basket. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Gets it to go. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Jumps into the defender. He puts it in with contact and all. Boy, terrible execution on offense. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. There's the pick. There's the roll. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. This replay is going to be an encore presentation everywhere. On 
on the dribble gives it up the skip pass is picked off they'd like to get it inside to the low block unable to so far nice job of packing it in defensively yeah, really doing a great job packing it in and a great job of anticipating that lateral pass that's a great play what a play demonstrating unbelievable skill now look at him he's celebrating with the cheerleaders i love the zest of the young man dancing with the cheerleaders that's awesome brad concentration gotta concentrate Way brick short. city Misses it. He gets the rebound. They say forget about it. And then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. Gave it up. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. They'll work it around the arc. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. Dick, he's really sticking to his man. Ooh, look at the shot block. But he got some contact. Nice hops. Picked out of the air. The student body has got it going on. They look to be filled with rage and eager for a win. The student section looks like they're having a great time. Points off turnovers, Dick. A stat I know coaches pay a lot of attention to. Hey, Brad, it sure is. You want to limit your opponent's number of points off turnovers. Ultimately, you want to nullify the easy baskets. First shot is good. UCLA are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. Got them both. He converts on that free throw line, and that's major. Picks off the lazy pass. Up and inside. From three-point land. Great job of freeing himself with the screen, but shot won't go. On the dribble, gives it up, picks off the pass. Gave it up. Nope. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's what you take for the team, Brad. Number 23 checks in for the first time. I'll tell you, this is what they need coming off the bench, Brad. Count it. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. Things are going well. It's going well for the school mascot, too. I tell you, I love those mascots. They put so much enthusiasm and energy into it. On the dribble, gives it up. Here's the offensive drop step on the low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. Now they work it around the perimeter. Looking for the foul. What do you think, Dick? They need a timeout here, Brad. Looking for a good shot. Shot's there if he wants it. He launches the bomb. Not a wise decision to take that shot there. Brad, I can guarantee you that he's not the guy they want shooting the ball. Dump it inside. Pandemonium has taken over Pauley Pavilion. Look out.
Went away from the post and goes the other way. He fires from long range. Off the rim and no good. There's a slam. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, the battle in the paint has played a major factor in this game, and it's probably some of the reason why they have this lead. If things don't change in a hurry, this game could get ugly, guys. Aaron's right about that. I'll tell you one thing, you better be able to establish post play because that gives you inside-outside action. And the ball goes out of play. the half. The Bruins are up by 18. Now let's rewind a little bit here and watch the play of the half. USC has turned the ball over a lot more than normal in that first half. They're very sloppy in moving the ball tonight. And as a result, turnovers are piling up like dirty laundry. Nick, we saw a great first half, and that intensity you know is going to carry over to the beginning of the second half. Well, it's important to stay close, and you want to be able to come down and make some defensive stops. That's essential. You've got to play on the defensive side. I need to see that again in slow-mo. Got a nice screen. Way off target. Three. He shows the sweet touch. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Nick, look at the number of points off turnovers. I tell you, getting baskets off turnovers is such a great and easy way to score, Brad. You want to maximize these opportunities as much as you can. They work it around the perimeter. Leans in. Great shot. That's a seven-zip run. Gave it up. Nice little jam right there, the one hand jam and stuff. A little showtime, a little pizzazz. Get out the mustard. In the paint. There's the trap. The student body looks to be full with rage and willing to cheer on the old home team. They're rocking right now, my goodness. Momentary look from three-point land. He was looking for the call, and he got it on himself. Offensive foul. Definitely an offensive foul, no doubt about it. He beats him to the spot. Number 33 takes the pass in the paint. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position, and then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking the shot when you make that turn. He's going nowhere. Ball well, stolen. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Look at that spacing. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Nick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. The ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. The Trojans are trailing by six. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Oh, 
Number 13 is called for the foul. Dick, you know, we always like uh, comparing positions and specific matchups. What are your thoughts about the backcourt matchup? So hey, Brad, sometimes comparisons can be misleading. If your backcourt is weaker, then you just hope to contain your opponent's guards. Keep them in check. If you have strong backcourt play, you must attack and exploit any mismatches. Is a three off the rim and no good. This is college basketball at its best, Dick. Wow, the energy in here is electrifying. Passed on the guy in the post to go the other way. The small forward handles the feed and in and out. Drains the shot. at the three makes the shot goes up for two perfectly executed he puts up the three ball Gets it to fall. For two. I love the sky hook. You cannot block that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brad, why don't more guys use it? Puts it up, looking for contact. In and out. Hey, as a coach, you really like to see your kids get up and challenge shots like that. A lot of times, a challenge is enough to make the offensive player change their shot in the with the block. Moving it around the perimeter. For the bucket. He's not getting himself in position for the good shot. Yeah, it's a little bit too much. One-on-one. -on -one. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Fires away, way off target. Ball comes back out from the post. Right there, Brad, you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. He gets another one to go. This is a shooting clinic, my friend. Pandemonium has taken over Pauly Pavilion. Look out. Number 20 grabs it. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. Trying to draw the foul. Look at that try. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> Double team now, Matt Angle. Up and inside. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. And they get the turnover. This could be exciting. With authority. On the outside. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Trying 
to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. On the outside, great defense. Look out, here we go. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Looking for a good shot. On the dribble, gives it up. He's open if he wants the shot. They work the perimeter. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to drop. Gave it up. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. USC are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, that'll keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. Takes the pass in the paint. Jump hook from the low block. And he missed. Looking for contact. The Bruins lead by six. For two, he's taking a lot of bad shots out there, Dick. I know he's trying to catch fire, Brad, but it's just not there. Picked off. Number two is seemingly at an emotional low point at this moment, Dick. He needs for something positive to happen, which will light his fire and get him going. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position, has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45-degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. The Bruins are known for their defensive style of play. That's what I like about them. Solid defensive teams always have a chance to win. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Scores it, and he's fouled. So and one opportunity here. Isn't that something? He wants these fans to get pumped up and get excited. He wants the roof to pop off this arena. My goodness. He's saying, show me some love. I'm working my tail off here. He gets it to go. Picked off. On the dribble, gives it up. Lobs it. Number three makes a great move to draw the foul. Well, it certainly wasn't close in the first half, Aaron, but now we got a ball game. Guys, during halftime, emotions were high from both the coaches and the teams. They all said they expect a battle on the hardwood in the second half, and that's what they're getting. All right, thanks, Aaron. The Bruins are up by seven. That's one of the things I absolutely love about college basketball, Dick, the atmosphere. Listen to that roar. It's unbelievable. Up, easy one. Let's take a look at that last hoop. Gave it up. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. Pass down low. There's a drop step and oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. Controlling the ball. He looks for three. Off the rim and no good. Puts it on the floor and up and under. And in and out. Defensively down on the low block and there's a steal. A oh, terrific job anticipating, reading the offense and making that steal. 
On the dribble, gives it up. Rejects it. Dickey really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. Shoots way off target. Up and inside. In the paint. There's the screen up on top. Gave it up, trying to draw some contact, and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. The student body is rocking tonight. They look like they're having a blast. Can't get the shot to go. He's got some room, tries a three. That's definitely not the shot they were looking for, Dick. That shot was definitely ill-advised. Had a momentary look from three-point land. Using his size with a power move. Oh, what a power goal. Jump stop. Takes the ball to the goal. Strong. Takes the pass in the paint. Jump hook from the low post. I'll tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. He wants a three. Off the rim and no good. Take some pride on the defensive end. On the dribble, gives it up. Gave it up. He looks for the bomb. He shows the sweet touch. This one is shaping up to be a barn burner, Dick. At this point in the game, clock management and execution are really important. The team that does these things well will win, I guarantee it. Rims out. That spin move's not going to work against the defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. For two, perfectly executed. Let the replay show us the real deal. With a stop here, there will be sheer pandemonium in the stand. He intercepts it. This place will go senseless, Dick, if they can get a stop. He launches a three. Man, he used that screen to perfection. He used it to get free, baby, for the good luck. That's why I love this game, Dick, for that reason alone. My goodness, it's chaotic in here. Kicking back outside. On the dribble, gives it up. Now the turnaround jumper. In and out. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. The Trojans have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. Gave it up. Entry pass in the paint. For two. Great play to take that to the basket.
work it around the perimeter. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Executes the baby hook. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. He goes up strong, and that's going to be an offensive foul. Oh, great call by the official. He beat him to the spot. That's essential defensively. On the inside. Trying to come up with a steal, and they do. And again, down court in a hurry. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. For the deuce. And he missed. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice, smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. Got an open look if he wants it. High post screen, so effective that screen. Ball kicked out from the post. Steals the pass. The center with the ball. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. No field. USC are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together here. Hey, they're really starting to click on offense. The Bruins are going to call a timeout. And with that, we got a break. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad, this is a great opportunity for the coaches to calm their players down. I'm sure they're anxious, and they may be a little frazzled. Let's see how it all works out, guys. And I think she's right about that, Richie. Looks like we're ready to step back out onto the court. That bucket cuts the lead to one. I told you there was a lot of time, Brad. The shooting guard takes the feed. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Goes up for two. And the bricks just keep on coming, baby. I have to start looking for some easier baskets here, Dick. In the paint. Tries for two. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Three points is the difference. That's right, so somebody better guard the York. Had an open guy in the post and went the other way. He goes for the trifecta. Poor decision there to shoot that three. I don't think the coach wants him taking that shot. Well, Dick, it looks like they're going to spend a little bit of time fouling right here. Mr. Vitale, how about that State Farm drive of the game? Oh, Mr. Nestle, this one's superb. The ability to get close enough to the basket and then have the presence of mind to finish off the great play. Wow, what a play. Foul, and that stops the clock again. Nobody likes this part of the game when the losing team is fouling in order to stop the clock. Well, Dick, it's obvious to me that they are starting to heat things up right now. I'll tell you one thing. They're getting good shots, and they're making them count. They're in a groove, baby. And when they're in a groove, that court looks like an unbelievable Atlantic Ocean instead of a teapot. And yet another foul. Hey, now it's a matter of clock management, Brad. They have to foul in order to get back in this game. Number 13 goes to the line for the one-and-one. Makes the foul shot. Second one, good. You don't need the desperation three. It's a two-possession game.
They might try and surprise the opposition with a little change here, Dick. That might not be a bad idea. It's a five-point ball game. That's not a lot of points to be down with this much time, Brad. The friendly bounces aren't going their way at the moment, Dick. They need to get some easier looks, Brad. The power forward handles the pass. On the outside, the small forward receives the ball. Richie, another memorable battle. This rivalry's gone a long time, and it's just going to get more intense after one like this. I tell you what tradition both these clubs have, and they play with such passion, and that's what makes the game so special. UCLA couldn't get enough going before the final buzzer. They'll be disappointed to come up short to such an evenly matched team. So for Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.